It is Monday, and we are anxiously awaiting for the Kyrie Irving trade announcement, right? Summer League is over. What is going on? What is going to happen? We are getting reports from Woj this morning talking about the Kyrie trade and that the trade isn't dead, that the trade could still happen, um, but no traction has been made yet, right? That nothing, no headway is done and that it's very possible that the Brooklyn Nets end up keeping Kyrie Irving. Now, personally, I don't think that's going to happen, but I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. It's all just theories. It's all just speculation. It's all just whoever thinks uh, what is going to happen. But beyond that, uh, there are reports that this Kyrie Irving trade, uh, that the most likely scenario is that Russell Westbrook goes to the Spurs. The closest the Lakers and Nets are to uh, the Kyrie Irving trade would be the Spurs taking on Russell Westbrook. But in order to do that, you essentially have to give up both your first round picks because the Spurs want a first in order to do that and make that trade happen uh, where Kyrie Irving would go to the Lakers, a first would go to the Spurs, and then a first would go to the Nets for the favor. Problem is, is that basically is the end of your trades, right? Because the Lakers are very hesitant in giving up both first round picks for Kyrie. That's what all the reports say. And it makes sense because the Lakers don't want to just stop at Kyrie Irving. The Lakers want to acquire Kyrie Irving and go acquire a Buddy Heald or, you know, uh, uh, Eric Gordon, something along those lines. And you're not going to get there unless you have a first round pick to give up. Um, you know, I, I just don't think teams are going to value THT enough to where it's like, oh, yeah, we'll give you Buddy Hill for THT. I just, you know, maybe a team like Indiana, maybe you could get there just because of the salary relief. But THT has a player option next year for $11 million, and he's very likely going to opt in if he doesn't have a great season. Um, so I just don't know if that gets there. But a first round and maybe THT and Kendrick Nunn, maybe then that gets there. So the Lakers want to keep that one of those two first round picks. But very likely, it has to be one of those first end up getting traded uh, to the Spurs if you are going to move Russell Westbrook there. Um, and I don't think the Lakers are going to, I don't think that that's going to be the be all end all of the trade. You know, I don't think the Lakers are going to say, nah, we're not going to give up two picks. We're done. You know, because if that was the case, guess what? The Lakers would have already made a trade, right? Woj even said that a Lakers trade is inevitable, you know, that it's very likely it's still to happen, that it's just a matter of when, that kind of thing. Not the Kyrie trade, just a Laker trade in general, that the Lakers are going to make a trade at some point, right? And if the Lakers were like, were not giving up two first round picks, they would have already made a trade already for a Buddy Hield or something like that. Like, let's say right now, deal on the table. The Lakers could go get Buddy Hield uh, for a THT, Kendrick Nunn, and a first round pick. The Lakers would have done that already. You know, they it would have been done because they want Buddy Hield, right? He would help the Lakers tremendously, but they value Kyrie Irving more. So I think if push comes to shove, what will end up happening, the Lakers will end up giving both first round picks and they'll end up getting Kyrie Irving because they're not going to lose out on Kyrie. I think LeBron is going to put enough pressure on them to get it done. Um, you know, I just think that it's the only way you're really going to likely get this done unless you continue to play hardball. And finally, the Nets just came. Now, the Lakers do have a lot of things in their favor, right? Kyrie clearly wants to go to the Lakers. He has made it abundantly clear. Uh, you know, I understand people say, oh, well, there was a report that the Kyrie Irving want, said he wants to stay with the Nets. He never said that. There is nothing where he says that. Even the article, if you go read the article, it doesn't say that he told the Nets anything. It's an anonymous source from the New York Post that says the Kyrie Irving trade was made by the media. That when Kevin Durant made his announcement to be traded, that that made everybody go, oh, Kyrie's getting traded too. Where is he going to go? The Lakers. But it completely disregards that the Kyrie Irving trade to the Lakers started before Kevin Durant requested a trade. So that entire <laughs> post was completely null and void. It made no sense. Um, but... Kyrie Irving, what he has done, told people at the Sparks game that he's going to be the Lakers really, really soon. Uh, he had an entire interview uh, with the Trenches Basketball. Uh, he did an entire like live stream interview and was in a Lakers shirt the entire interview. I mean, he's done things to show, I want to go to the Lakers, right? I'm going to the Lakers. You know, I, even the Phil Handy thing people bring up. But I don't put too much into that because Phil Handy and Kyrie had a really great relationship. Uh, they've had it since the, the Cleveland uh, Cavaliers days. So I don't put too much into that, but it is a telling sign. He's been in LA. He hasn't left LA. And, he's, and there was a report that he was not going to leave LA until he was traded. 
You know, so I don't think that I think that that's a pretty good sign too. You know, Kyrie's still in LA working, doing stuff, and a lot of players do spend the off season in LA. But Kyrie Irving, if the report is true, he wants to be in LA. He's not leaving LA, and he is the guy that would sit out and not play. But I think the most likely scenario is that Russell Westbrook goes to the Spurs. Uh, they'll end up buying him out, and then he'll go somewhere else because the Spurs want to tank, right? They don't want a guy like him because Westbrook. I still believe is a 30 trip point triple double guy. And the last thing you need is Westbrook winning your games. So the Spurs are clearly trying to tank. So I think they buy him out. Westbrook goes to the destination of his choice. Lakers get Kyrie Irving. And then the, you know, the the Nets get whatever. They get the, the first round pick and maybe like a THT or something. I think that that's ultimately what will end up happening. You know, Kyrie will be reunited with LeBron. LeBron will be happy. Um, now the contract extension, like a lot of people are concerned about LeBron, like, oh, like if he doesn't, if they don't get Kyrie, he's not going to sign an extension. I don't think he was going to sign an extension regardless, because if he signs an extension, he's likely locked in very likely. What's going to happen with LeBron is he's going to do one plus ones for the next several years with the Lakers. I don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon. He has too many things going on in LA. He didn't go to LA for basketball reasons. Like if you looked when he went and became a free agent, and you looked at the landscape, the Lakers were the last place he should have went to if you were talking basketball reasons. So he went there for, yes, to win a championship and be competitive and play, but also to establish his life and career after basketball. So it wasn't just like, oh, I'm going to go to the Lakers and, you know, we're going to win a championship with all these young guys. No, you know, he wrote it out for a year. They didn't make the playoffs. And then Anthony Davis became available and boom, you get Anthony Davis. Perfect. That's why LeBron went. LeBron went because he was like, oh, I get to become a billionaire beyond becoming a billionaire. I get to live in LA. My kid gets to play in all the basketball syndicates here, all that stuff. I, you know, I wait for a superstar to become available. And then we could trade all these young bums and go get a superstar. Like that's, that's his thinking. That's his logic, you know, and that's what ended up happening. So I don't think LeBron's leaving anywhere, whether they get Kyrie or not. Um, you know, besides that, where is he going to go? Any of the teams that are good can't sign him. They're not going to have the money unless he takes a vet minimum or something, which I don't think he's going to do. And any teams that trade for him, they're not going to like, what are they going to trade for him? You know, he's a 38 next after this season, he'll be a 39 year old. Yeah. Even if he is a top three player in the league, teams aren't going to give up a bunch of assets to take on a 39 year old LeBron James and keep him for a year or two, you know, and then his son becomes available. I, I just don't see him going anywhere, but the Lakers, you know, because the Lakers is the only place that makes sense to him. He wasn't there for just basketball reasons. I think the only time he leaves the Lakers is to go play with his son or to retire as a Cav for a year. You know, he, he signs a, you know, vet minimum deal, retires a Cav, and that's it. Other than that, he's going to be a Laker with or without Kyrie. Not just that, but if the, you know, if Kyrie is really adamant about getting the Lakers, the Lakers will just sign Kyrie next season, and LeBron's just going to re-sign anyway. So I think no matter how you shake it, it, it LeBron's going to stay a Laker. I'm not worried about LeBron leaving. Um, but, you know, with the Kyrie Irving trade, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I mean, I'm still confident it gets done today or tomorrow. I really do think that we're going to get the announcement either at some point today or some point tomorrow. I mean, by the time you're watching this video, it'll probably be mid-afternoon, um, you know, on uh, Monday. So if the deal hasn't happened by then, we've probably got a couple hours until then. So if that's the case, then it probably won't be till tomorrow. But um, I do. I, I just think that I think it's a matter of when, not if. You know, even if it doesn't happen today or tomorrow, I think before training camp starts, it's very likely to happen. And I know, oh, you know, they're willing to keep Kyrie in a training camp, all that stuff. I just don't see it. The owner doesn't want him there. The owner wants Kyrie gone. He's made that abundantly clear. Uh, you know, Sean Marks wants an extension. There were reports that he was going to get an extension. And then the, the reports come out that, no, that wasn't true. He might actually get fired over this. You know, it's just, it's a it's a never-ending cycle. And there's all this information that's coming out. And none of us know what is accurate. None of us know what is true and what's not. You know, you hear one report, like one minute, oh, you know, this is happening. The next minute, oh, it's not happening. I mean, even today, like Woj had conflicting reports about Russell Westbrook. You know, like... It's just, it, nobody really knows. Even the woes, even the shams, all of them. They don't know what is going on. They're just getting information from wherever they're getting information. And they're putting it out there and reporting it. No different than what I'm doing. But as always, this is a discussion, so I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. 
Uh, what do you think ends up happening? you think this is a matter of when, not if? Do you think it never happens? Uh, where do you think Westbrook lands? Do you think he goes to Brooklyn? Do you think he goes to the Spurs? Uh, as, as reported, because again, the report was the closest to a deal being done is Westbrook going to the Spurs, which I, I don't rule out at all. I think that that's a very big possibility. Now, you know, a lot of people believe that, you know, Kevin Durant doesn't want to play with Westbrook and all that stuff, but Kevin Durant might not have a choice. <laughs> you know, I mean, he, does, he clearly doesn't have as much power as he thought because he's still on the Nets. It's very likely the Nets keep him. Now, they are still exploring trades for him, but no trade offers have came in that they liked. They got him on contract for four years. It might be, you know, if they tell him, like, look, dude, at least Westbrook shows up, you know? Like, yeah, you might not want to play with him. It might not be the best thing in the world, but at least you're competitive. At least you're going to win some games. And at least you have a guy that's going to play all 82 games and and, co- and cover your slack, you know? Like, what would you rather have? A guy that you know is going to sit out the rest of the season? Or would you like a guy that is going to play 82 games and give you 110%. Like, however you feel about Westbrook, at least he shows up, and at least he's going to give you 110%. Not just that, but Kevin Durant. It's not like Kevin Durant plays 82 games a year. That dude missed, like, 30 games last year or whatever it was, 25 games last year stuff. So it's it's you need a guy like Westbrook. But, again, love to hear your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section. One last little shameless plug is I did start As It Stands Lakers. Uh, it is a channel just like this, uh, dedicated to only the Lakers, because the Lakers are my favorite team. And on this channel, As It Stands, I talk about all teams, all sports, stuff like that. We have football season coming up, so I'm definitely looking forward to that as well. And I just wanted to make a dedicated channel to the Lakers to give the ins and outs. Now, all the big stuff, all the big news and stuff, I will still post here on this channel. Um, but if you want all the ins and outs and just rumors and theories and just discussions just strictly on the Lakers, uh, link down in the description or in the comment section. Go check out the channel. Subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. That being said, hit that like button. Helps me out a lot. Let's me know you enjoy these types of videos, and I truly appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Follow by the bell notification. Stay up to date with all things sports. Join this wonderful community and all of our discussions. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you.